Hello and welcome everyone, I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bully. And now you may notice that there's not a beaming light shining down or, uh, well, any kind of, the audio might be slightly different. That's because I've been incredibly busy uh, just sorting out everything for the Lost Wax casting. Get in, what you can't see here is a huge pile of custom made boxes. Those are getting shipped out today as, well I say today, tomorrow as well, they're getting packaged today. Um, but today I have, without interruption, a coin review for you, and it's something that, well, I don't normally do because it's kind of on my private collection. So a lot of the stuff I show you comes from the Silver Trader. So you'll still find the links down below. You'll find a link to Silver Trader, the Precious Metal Forum. By the way, there's two free giveaways there. <laughs> One to celebrate our birthday, a one-year anniversary birthday, whatever you want to call it. And second one is our eighth giveaway. So eight people have won prizes free of charge, um, courtesy of myself and other members who have donated uh, pieces of silver. We have some silly prizes in there as well. Um, if you haven't seen any of the giveaway videos, take a look back. Honestly, they're a lot of fun. It's interactive and, yeah, nothing's computer generated. So... As I said, I'm not going to delay uh, with this coin review, as in, like, there's no interruptions, there's no middle term, um, you know, join the Precious Metal Forum kind of giveaway thing. No, I'm going to get straight in, but this is my own. So, uh, full disclaimer, obviously, it's my own. It's something I bought. I bought it actually from a Facebook group and uh, still trying to get those members over onto the Precious Metal Forum because I, I could see huge potential there. But, uh, yeah, so this came from one of my friends over there who I know I trust. I've bought from before. We do deals. That's fine. Um, and, well, it's extremely rare. I told you guys I'm Batman. There you go. Now, what you don't see in this entire thing is obviously the piece. And that's because I still left the foam inside. But we're going to open it up and have a look. Now, if you've never seen this before and you're wondering, what the heck, why have I not seen it? Well, there was only 2,022 of these released and minted. So, obviously, this has to be something special. Now, this is definitely not one of those where you could probably go out and try to find and buy it. Good luck on you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Good luck. Um, because uh, according to one article I read, you had to be faster than the Batmobile when these were released earlier this year. Um, but it, this is to commemorate the um, Bat uh, the Batman 2022 movie. So we're going to have a look and dive in. The REMC reflective. You can see my light is not even on. So this has a really cool thing. Look at that. Batman. Da -da 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 -da. Batman. And then it's a magnetic catch right in here. And then, now this window's important, by the way, because, and you also see that the coin's not fully secured in, and that's because, obviously, it's a pain to get out. Um, so I wanted to do this before, but here we go. Da -da -da -da. Now, awe for a minute. Just, just be in awe, because if I shut this window for a second, you get the effect of it immediately. Now what you're going to see, let's just zoom in, you'll see this reddish kind of weird cutout background, everything else, Batman, and I, it, it really is just superb. It's mine, it's superb, I love it, I bought it, I paid my own money for it, obviously. Um, so we're going to pull it out and see what it's about. Here we go, we're going to lift it out. Now immediately you're going to notice that, look, hold on, oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, yeah, but it's not a hole in the capsule. It's just a hole in the coin. I've not taken it out. Now, the capsule here sits into this little groove. And as I said, it's a little pain because I've had to put a little mark there to get this out. That's how tight it fits in. Um, let's have a quick look on the back quickly for the specifications. You got the Batman. 39 fine silver, one ounce. Uh, the country of issue is Nui. Uh, the year of issue is this year, 2022. Mintage is uh, 2022. You have the holographic symbol. There's mine. So that's my unique identification number. I'm 449. I have no problem sharing that with you guys. 
because I'm not selling it. Uh, so yeah, DC, Warner Brothers, and of course you have the New Zealand Mint. Now, they do a lot of these Batman stuff and, you know, kind of, do I say I'm sorry for any fans out there, I'm kind of bored of seeing some of them because they're, it's not just the New Zealand Mint, it's every, every Mint, and I'm really restraining what I want to say, every Mint seems to be kind of jumping on the bandwagon. It's like, no, just for God's sakes, but what have they done? Well, as you can see here, through the crystal clear, you can see that. So we'll actually take a look first at the, the back side, because that's a nice distressed look to it. And of course, this is going to be the side that's going to be facing down. Excuse my clardy nails. So we have Queen Elizabeth II. It is a coin as a $2 denomination face value. On the bottom, you can see there, it says uh, one ounce uh, with the finesse there of silver, three nines fine silver, the Batmobile copyright and trademark DC Comics, and then in brackets, uh, Sierra 22, as for Sierra 22. Now, this is a brushed look, and it's supposed to be obviously, you know, a very dark scene. It still has that thickness that you would expect of a normal one ounce coin. But yeah, no, oh, there's the top. Sorry, I, I, I've not actually looked to see how it comes out. So it has a nice, I guess, way to remove it. I don't know why you would, but um, there you go. So <laughs> here we go. I am the shadows. And look at this bat suit with the bat emblem right on his uh, torso there. Uh, going into uh, the cape as you can see kind of going over both shoulders neck protection i'm a bit of a geek with this i just kind of i really do love it uh then you get this reddish hue that comes up which is i guess a colorized it's still silver but it's colorized um and then you, you're still getting this brushed effect and then it kind of just brushes straight off the very top so it looks rather interesting and unique now as i said i'm not putting this up you can see here if I put my finger in the background of this there we go so letting you see that in its full so you can actually see through it. hello um so yeah it is a brilliant brilliant coin and I love it now the fact that now I've finally shown it means that well I'm not going to be getting rid of this not unless I have one heck of a serious offer um which means that I can actually put this away for the first time properly. And uh, I'm not I'm not really sure if I'm, to be honest with you, if I should just to leave that in there and not bother, um, which I might do actually, because for resale, I guess, you know, in the future, they're gonna want this little tiny foamy bit, won't they? Um, and it's not like I can't open it up and admire it, but for the purpose of this video, since I'm done with it now, I'm going to carefully, and it is a snug, snug fit in here. You have no idea, it really is super snug. You're gonna fight it. This is what it looks like when it's closed. And then now you get that reddish background that pops through the, um, the bat symbol. And yeah, it really is cool. I, I want to know your thoughts, what your opinions are. So please leave them in the comment section on the sides here just to see normal bit. You have the bat symbol, which is upside down because of course you turn it around this way and then you turn it that way. And I don't know, you, you jump on your leg three times and it magically appears. There you go. So that is me in the coin. Okay, the Batman. Um, so let me know what you think. I, yes, it has a huge premium. Um, as I said, if you're looking to find one realistically, you know, um, start breaking your kids' piggy banks um, because honestly, it is ridiculously expensive. I was, well, I said very fortunate. I have to admit, I did not pay a large sum of money for this. In fact, actually I paid I, and this is going to maybe annoy some people. That's why I don't usually talk about money. But I paid, I'm not going to give you a figure, less than what it came out with originally. Yeah, that's right. 
So maybe there might be deals somewhere if you can find someone that is willing to do it. But from what I've seen, good luck. Anyway, that's all I've got time for everyone. Have a great weekend. I still need to go back and work in the workshop and get those things posted off for all of you lovely people. So don't forget, sign up to the Precious Metal Forum. Get your, uh, your entries in. They're all free. And uh, yes, I do have uh, more coins to be reviewed. They're just on hiatus at the moment because, well, because. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Bye for now.